All right, here we go. I always put a timer on so I only do a minimum of 15 minutes of groundwork and then 15 minutes of riding in every session. I find if I do more than that, they just kind of glaze over and they, are, they don't like it. It's, it's me just nagging at them. So I keep everything really, really short. Okay, so hopefully I can bring her from here to the center.
You can see how um, willing she is. I always stop and praise her and give her a little treat. And she's very polite about taking them, very sweet. And you can see even when I move away from her hip, she's really watching me and really eager to uh, participate. She's happy to do this work. She, she's a very, very sensitive horse, um, very willing horse, uh, very light. So this kind of work really, really works for her. She, she loves how light it is and um, how there's no force involved. And she's always watching me and, and eager to do this with me. Um, and so I go really slow and uh, sometimes I needed to guide her with my hand to tell her I wanted her on the inside uh, because sometimes I'm on the inside and she wasn't sure. So I just gently made that clear to her and then she knew what to do and it was easy. And, and then there were times where she lagged behind a little and I slowed down and waited for her till she caught up. And then, um, and then that was great too. See now she wants to leave, so I'm just going to bring her back. See how she follows the whip. Um, I just brought it to her chest and then I stepped back and she followed me. And that was really nice. So because she could leave, as I said, there's no gate here. Um, but because it's very gentle and we have a really great relationship, she wants to work with me. She wants to participate. And that's super important with any kind of riding, but Liberty makes you much, much more aware of that um, because you can't force them when there's nothing on them. So it's really good for the human, actually. I, I would say it's better for the human than anyone else. Uh, for sure it's good for the horse because there's a lot of consideration, uh, but the human learns to be slower and softer and more tuned in, which is always a very, very good thing.